23 years separate the release of the Obsessed last studio album, 1994's The Church Within, from 2017's Sacred. The interim has found doom legend Scott Wino Weinrich plying his trade in a variety of projects, from a long-awaited reunion with St. Vitus to short-tenured projects such as his solo album and his acoustic diversions, both solo and with such diverse artists as Connie Ox and Scott Kelly. All of this in addition to a multitude of collaborative band efforts over the years such as Premonition 13, The Hidden Hand, Shrine Builder, and Spirit Caravan, to name only a few. Restarting the Obsessed in 2016 with Brian Constantino on drums and co-conspirator in Spirit Caravan Dave Sherman on bass, this revered doom institution returned from the wilds with a tour, reinvigorated purpose, and the promise of new music. 2017 Sacred marks the true return of a revered doom institution and represents the unique vision of Wino's four-decade pursuit of musical truth. On album opener, Sodden Jackal, Wino and the Obsess unearth this early track for an effective re-recording. Stalking like a feral beast, Sodden Jackal's bleak lyrics and plotting pace sustain this ominous and affecting update. Punk Crusher's introduction offers a phased out nod to the 70s before the remainder of the song fully embraces the band's 80s fetish with big bombastic propulsion and a stoner thrash throwdown for good measure. Over 40 years in the Doom game and Wino is still crafting memorable riffs, the song Sacred is an absolute masterpiece. His stirring work places him in rarefied air with the almighty riff lord himself, Tony Iommi. The squalling solo accompanying the song's waning moments offers a signature Wino send-off to this outstanding track. Haywire provides an up-tempo hard rocker while Perseverance of Futility swings with a thick groove. An organ patrols the background to add a dank atmosphere to this exemplary song. A near atonal descending intro, deeply held swagger, and Wino's Doom Dylan vocals contribute to this song's honest truth. A cover of It's Only Money finds Wino and fellow kindred spirit in Doom, Dave Sherman, trading off on vocals for this Thin Lizzy classic. Cold Blood is an expansive instrumental journey alternating between a pensive, halting refrain and self-assured momentum, all the while propulsive drumming from Brian Constantino and Dave Sherman's forceful bass clatter underpin the whole undertaking. Another standout track, Stranger Things, is transcendental mystic metal from the master himself. This song is an exclamation of both the deeply personal and of universal truth. Razorwire is a straightforward rocker that, like Haywire, provides a hard-rocking counterpoint to the sprawling ruminations that surround. Carrying the torch for true light metal, like Trouble and Black Sabbath before us, My Daughter, My Sons proffers thoughtful philosophical doom while Be the Night makes its case for morals in the gray and prideful display with its embrace of the hedonistic excess that can arise in the dark of night. Closing the album, Interlude, is a brief tasty riff to shepherd us out of this album. Featuring two bonus tracks, the deluxe edition continues with On So Long, best described as No Quarter Covered by Black Sabbath, a perfect alchemical synthesis of the mystical and darkly contemplative, while Crossroader is a mid-paced swamp boogie that draws on the life of a nomadic rock and roll outlaw. Nearing 40 years and now four studio albums, despite the intermittent output from this mythic band, every release has become an essential listen. 1983's debut 7-inch single, the one-two punch of 1990's self-titled Rave Up and 1991's Lunar Womb, and 1994's flirtation with Columbia Records' The Church Within, after a 17-year hibernation, The Obsessed returned with Sacred, a new album of timeless and exceptional doom truth. Featuring a well-represented set of songs, Sacred guides the listener between hard-driving, road-tested rock, spacious doom expositions, and expansive stoner psychedelia. Led by the iconic Scott Wino Weinrich, The Obsessed return in 2017 with an album of honest and enriching heavy doom expression. Driving rhythms, Wino's Iomi-worthy riffs and insightful engaging lyrics, Sacred distills the essential elements of The Obsessed, delivering a discerning album that only grows more engaging with repeated listens. An essential release for 2017 from an absolutely essential band.